It's showtime. Hey, welcome to DD Watch Survivor last time. Uh, this is the only music podcast. My name is Jake Scheidel. Each week I ask my best friend Thomas Powell if he did indeed uh, listen to certain music. Hey, Thomas, how did you do this week? <laughs> I didn't listen to any music this week. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> music is so important. We're only doing music yeah. now. Music make, as Madonna said, music makes the people come together. People talk a lot about music, and we're some of those people. Uh, so, Thomas, I gotta ask you. Another one of those people is Missy Elliott. You ever, like, think something and be like, I need to say that out loud, and then skip over the important sentence, and then be like, how did we get here? Does that ever happen to you? <laughs> Yeah, it does. I'm sorry, I got distracted because I was thinking about it for the, the Madonna song that I just quoted. And mm-hmm. I always knew that the first line was music makes the people come together. But yeah. then I was like, what is the second line? I can't quite remember it. It's like music makes the boys run. It To me, it sounded like music makes the boys run free. Music makes the like, boys come to the yard. Thomas. Yeah, we all know but what this. it actually is, is music makes the bourgeoisie and the rebel. What? Can you say that sentence one more time? Music, comma, makes the bourgeoisie... You know, you're familiar with that, right? Oh, yes, I'm familiar. And the rebel. You and know, like, the, the idea that, like, music music brings everyone together. Like, even the oh. bourgeois and, you know, the non-bourgeois. So, what she's know, saying is... Are brought together by their love of music. She was kind of saying bad and bougie before bad and bougie was a song. Yes, that's essentially what she was saying. Madonna, the original bad and bougie bitch. (laughs) Ho ho! (laughs) Uh, Madonna's always talking about music. Missy Elliott, also always talking about music. So Thomas, I gotta ask you, did you listen to music last night? I got a cute face, chubby waist, thick legs in shape. Uh, yes. Oh, Okay. Cool. Uh, so this week, we're doing something different than normal. We have always been covering shows and sometimes movies. And every season of a new show we have, we have a new songs. Uh, so we're going to go through all of those songs. See, we realized this year, watching Double Agents, the challenge episodes, that we love to talk about music. Why aren't we talking about music more? Because, see, we're, oh, Thomas, do you, remember, know, do you remember wildlife shots? I do remember wildlife shots. I miss them. We had to replace wildlife shots, everyone's favorite segment, because apparently because of this coronavirus, they don't want their crew going out and getting pictures of wildlife. So we had to replace it with the Music Minute. But turns out Music Minute, also a fantastic segment. So it's actually impossible to say if the COVID-19 is bad or not. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's really, uh, scholars will debate this for, for years to come. Um, so, I don't know when we're going to get Music Minute back. Probably next time we cover the challenge, but they don't really do it on Survivor. So we're going out with a bang on Music Minute. We're also invented a new segment this season called Tom's Trivia. So, Thomas, we're going to go through every season of every show we've watched, and you, I will ask you what songs we used Oh boy, this is going to be, man, we're do- this is a real hybrid segment. It's Music Minute and Tom's Trivia. Indeed it is. So we started this show in September of 2015. Do you remember the first season we watched? The first season was Second Chance. Mm-hmm. And the second season was First Chance. Just kidding, of course. Uh, where where was Second Chance shot? Second Chance was shot in Koh Rong, Cambodia. In Cambodia. Okay, so I think Holiday in Cambodia was the song that we used. Mm-hmm. Do you remember um, the outro song? But for the outro, what was the outro? It was Second Chance. Mm-hmm. Was it... It'd be really funny if it was that really bad Shinedown song, and I think I, I joked to you about us doing that, and we did, yeah. obviously, did not, we obviously when, did not do that. When I was doing the research for this episode, I was like, oh, why didn't we pick that song? Probably because the song we did pick is much better. You've got the title already. It's, it, it's okay. Is it like, did we pick, like, Take a Chance on Me by ABBA? No, you already got, you, ugh, this is not the ABBA se- season. Uh, you've got the right decade, though, I think. 
You already said. You already got the title right. Second Chance. So Second Chance is the title. I don't remember who the artist for this was. 38 Special. Oh, you're right. We did choose a 38 Special song. Yeah. Uh, I think overall, still one of our best combos. Yeah, very, very good combo there. Uh, 1980 and 1988 are the years for those two songs. So we, we stayed in the same decade for that one, so that's fun. Uh, next up, after that season ended, was December of 2015, and we started Challenge Battle of the Bloodlines, which was shot in Bodrum, Turkey. Do you remember what s- songs we used? This was a season all about family. Kind of like The Sopranos. This is about... This is about f- Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. And Jersey this Shore. Thing, this thing of ours, La Cosa Survivor. Um, boy, uh... Man, okay. So, this was... Turkey. It was all about family. It was, it was in uh, Turkey. It was in Turkey. So, yeah. We always tried did we, to pick... Did we do Istanbul, not Constantinople for a <laughs> song? Know, you know we did. Do you remember yeah. which version, though? Because everybody's played that song. Was it the They Might Be Giants one? Yeah, it was the They Might yeah, Be Giants of course, song. Of course it was. Uh, I don't know if you're going to get the outro. I think I might be into this band more than you are for the outro. It's it's probably something song. blood or family related. Uh, it's it, You're right in family related. Family is not in the title, though. It's in the lyrics. No, family is not in the lyrics, uh, but it's about familial relationships. Uh, kind of like the kind of like the fast movies oh my god exactly like the fast movies and those furious ones too man uh i i i don't know what it is but uh i i think in retrospect Mm -hmm. i would have suggested we are family by sister sledge you know who produced that song jake please tell me (laughs) Nile Rodgers. I don't know who that is. Friend of the friend of the show, Nile Rodgers. Uh, He's from I, Chic, Jake. He uh, he also produced uh, the David Bowie "Let's Dance" album. Oh yeah, great fucking tune. Love David Bowie. The next season we covered was Survivor. Colon. You didn't tell me what it was. It was "Murder in the City" by the Avett Brothers. Okay. Otter I don't Brothers. remember that. You're right. <laughs> Okay, you've got to remember the ones we used for Survivor Korong, though. Also, Korong, Cambodia was the location. Okay, so it was Korong. What was the theme of that season? Was there any theme? It was. Brawn versus Brains versus Beauty. Oh, right. Okay, so we, we uh, You're Beautiful by James Blunt. That's mm-hmm. one of the most memorable ones that we did. I was trying to remember if it was that one or not. Yeah. And then this one was also in Cambodia. Mm-hmm. We I don't think we used Holiday in Cambodia again, did we? You don't think we used Holiday in Cambodia did we? again? We did indeed, yes. Oh, okay. This was when we thought, oh, they'll change locations every year. They'll change locations. Uh, so we'll do a song for each location and then change that when they change locations. Turns out... They picked a location eventually and stuck there. Uh, The next season we did was The Challenge Rivals 3 in Huatulco, Mexico. Do you remember this one? It's called Rivals 3, and it's in Mexico. Did we do Bitter Rivals by uh, Sleigh Bells? Ding, ding, ding. You got it. And then did we do Mexico by Cake as the exactly. outro? Exactly. Well done. Damn. Well fucking killed done. it. Uh, this was a good uh, good mix of songs for this season. Mexico yeah. especially, one of my favorite Cake songs. Yeah, I really like that one. I uh, was upset that I don't think we, I don't know. Um, I like a chill outro song. A I think chill that outro song is always Just something good. that you can like really like decompress after, mm-hmm. you know, 30 minutes of listening to us be... <laughs> stupid this is a fucking roller coaster ride of a podcast so you gotta just chill out at the end uh man i hated listening to that ah this song's good though (laughs) okay thomas on august 15th 2016 how old would you have been august 15th 2016 (laughs) jake i would have been exactly 25 years old (laughs) we watched two different shows on that date uh, one of them is called The Sex Factor, and one of them we do not discuss anymore. Oh my god, I forgot that we did that! 
We didn't do it for very long because it was a bad reality show. Yeah, we, we started two bad shows on the same week. Uh, one of them Also, got... not as funny to talk about as you would think. <laughs> no, it wasn't great. Um, what was the, sh- the song? We used one song for the sex factor. Did we, did we do Let's Talk About Sex by TLC? No, sir. We did Centerfold by the Jay Giles Band. Oh, we did do that. You're right. Also, I think Let's Talk About Sex might be... Uh, by who is that? Is it Salt and Pepper? Uh, I don't remember. I don't know anything. Don't ask me questions. I'm not the trivia fiend. I'm. Good it is at- salt. It is Salt and Pepper. Great. I'm. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. Uh, I- salt and Pepper. Have you ever that John Mulaney thing? Of- yeah, I literally just yeah. watched that a few days ago. The idea of of Patrick Stewart saying Salt and Pepper is very very appealing. Patrick Stewart, good dude. Um. So the other show uh, hosted by John Cena. It was shot in Eatonville, Washington. Jake, what was it? Jake, what was that oh, show called? Talking, we don't need to discuss the name. You're of talking it. about you're talking about a with John Cena. I don't want to talk. I don't want to. I don't want to have to go back and edit this. But yes, that's the one. Uh, what was the intro for discussing that show, Thomas? Was it uh, "I Am a Real American" by uh, Rick Derringer? No, no, it wasn't. You already know the right answer. It was a John Cena show. Oh, it was John Cena's theme, of course. It was The Time Is Now by John Cena. And? Did we have another? Was oh. it Was it a grit-themed thing? Mm, 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 no, Thomas. It's actually The Time Is Now by John Cena and The Trademark. Oh, yes. I for- sorry, I forgot about John Cena's cousin who also raps on that. What was the outro? This was shot in Washington, remember. So think, who who might be from Washington? Was it a was it a Presidents of the United States of America song? Mm-mm. No, sir. No, sir. They are genre. from Seattle, I believe. They are from Seattle. This person is also from Seattle. And probably was it I'm, Macklemore? No, I was going to say started their career around the same time as Presidents of the United States of America, like late eighties. It's another grungy band. No. It's not a grunge band. It's not a grunge band from Seattle from the late 80s. If you can believe it, Seattle has other types of music. That's crazy. Than grunge rock. I don't remember this. Um, it was... Here's another hint. We used it to discuss the real world Seattle because that had recently been airing as well. Here's another was hint. It- was it Real World by uh, Matchbox 20? <laughs> it was before Real World Roundup had its own dedicated sound. Uh, no. Here's another hint. The name of the song would make you think that it is about New York, but it's actually about Seattle. Uh, I, that, that doesn't help me at all, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> sure. Uh, the correct answer, the song we used is Posse on Broadway by Sir Mix-a-Lot. I completely forgot about that. I, I understand too. the New York part of that now. Yeah. Uh, it's a great song. Uh, a lot of these songs, I look back, and I was like, oh, this was a really good song, and then I just go listen to that song. <laughs> Thomas, so we, we talked, Music Minute replaced Wildlife Shots this season, we know. But Wildlife Shots, such a great segment. We tried to produce a whole episode based out of wildlife segment wildlife shots uh in which we watched the lobster do you remember what songs we used for the lobster in august of 2016 oh man we did do we did do that for the lobster um it, do we use rock we had to have used rock lobster it's, like yeah, it would be we, it, of it would be insane if we didn't do that <laughs> of course now, the did outro. we do any? Did we use? Okay, what was the outro? The outro is a song we had already used for something for a different episode. Uh, as far as I can tell, completely unrelated to the movie. Oh, interesting. Was it John Cena's theme? Yeah, it was. We did. That's great. <laughs> Why we did that, I don't know. I don't, that's, yeah, I don't know either, but that's really funny. I was probably feeling lazy on August 29 of 2016 and didn't want to figure something else out. Uh, The very next week, we simply went through our own episode titles. 
That was all we talked about. What songs did we use? Did we still use John Cena's theme? No, we didn't use John Cena's theme. Damn it. Um, here's a hint. The Both songs have the same word in them. We're discussing episode did we, titles. Okay. Did we use the number song by DJ Shadow? We did. Yes, we did. Okay. And then did we use uh, The Magic Number by De La Soul? You got it. Well done. Yes. That's right. Two very good songs. Yes. Uh, what about Survivor, Millennials versus Gen X? What did we use for that? I think we used Dancing With Myself for the Gen X part of that. Because it is by the band Generation X. Did we? Maybe That's, not. That sounds... I think we had considered that. Yeah, I remember discussing that at some point. I don't know if we ever went through with it, though. Uh, but it's not here, so I gotta, I'm going to have to trust my notes on this one. As we know, my notes are never wrong. Did and we, okay, my did favorite we use, music producer is Niles Rogers. Yes. For, for Millennial, did we, did we maybe use a song off of uh, Millennium by Backstreet Boys? No, Thomas. We were still, at this point, doing one song was based on the location and one song was based on the theme of the season. Yeah. Which was Millennials versus Gen X. Mm -hmm. It was about age disparity that season. Was it, um... Did we use I'm Just a Kid by Simple Plan? <laughs> that would have been great, too. Uh, no, this was before Jeff was like, why don't teenagers come play Survivor? Come on, it'll be fun. Yeah, uh, yeah you might be asking yourself, like, how old is everybody on each tribe? Or maybe even the people on the tribes may be asking themselves what their age is. Oh, is it what's my age again? <laughs> yes. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, okay, and then was this one that took place in Fiji? This one took place in Fiji, yes. Was this the one that we did um, that song The Fiji Mermaid for? Mm hmm. The band is called okay. Me Without You, yeah. Me Without You. I was trying to remember Me Without You. I kept thinking of Bad, Bad, Not Good, which is a different mm -hmm. band. Mm hmm. Uh, the next thing we. We took a break, you know? We love to take breaks from this podcast. We do love doing that. Uh, you know, watching a television show for two to three months on end, you need a break. So, January 3rd, 2017, we watched The Running Man. Do you know we did what watch, yes. And I remember we, we talked about it, it, because it is a movie about a reality show. Yes, and it takes place in 2017. <laughs> That's the, oh yep yeah and we we had to we had to see how accurate it was. I remember during that episode, uh, I was living in a bad apartment that I did not like, uh, and my roommate's Roomba uh, started underneath the seat I was sitting in, and I was like, oh, I did not know that was going to happen. Um, the Running Man. What song did we use to introduce the Running Man? Uh, did we use uh, Iran by Flock of Seagulls? No, it was actually Legend Has It by Run the Jewels. Do you get it? Oh, yes. That makes sense. Now, the question is, can you remember the song we went out with? Was it? Did we do a Fleetwood Mac song because uh, Mick Fleetwood is in that movie? <laughs> that would have been good. No, we just used the theme from The Running Man, Restless Heart ah, by yes. John Parr. That makes sense. Look. It was a break episode. You expect me to research and come up with something clever? Yeah. We were on a break! We were on a break! You know, Ross and Rachel from Friends. If you love Friends, check out our Patreon show. Uh, it's called Just Joey. For only $10,000 a month, you can listen to our Patreon show. I think one of my... Um, I was just going through some 30 Rock episodes again, and I think maybe my favorite joke in the entire show is uh, when uh, she's... Trying, basically trying to avoid getting stuck dating uh, Michael Sheen's character Wesley Snipes mm -hmm, forever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, there's one point where he uh, he's talking about it's like, see, we help each other. Like you, uh, you carry my or I carry your purse. You make me look slightly less gay at work functions. <laughs> and he goes, we're like we're like Ross and Rebecca on Chums. <laughs> there's a point too where he's like Chums. I'll be here always when the rains fall in Wales. <laughs> Just the idea of a British version of Friends. Is there a British wasn't version it, of Friends? I think, well, I think it was based off of... Because um, I remember right? they tried to make an American version of it, of coupling, yeah. 
Yeah. But like it was but like just the idea of it being that being the all, the British version of Friends is um, very funny to me. Yes. If there's any British version of Friends I want to watch, it's whatever that Edgar Wright show was called in the 90s. You know the one. Yeah, uh Spaced. Spaced. Yeah. Great Spaced show. is a good show. Uh okay. A show we also really loved was Are You the One season 5 which took place in Cabart, Cabret, Dominican Republic. Okay, so this was the one that wasn't Do It Again by Steely Dan, one of the songs? No, sir. Not for this season. Oh, that was, season. For a different, that was for a different season? Mm-hmm. Way to spoil um, it. This was the one where it had a song I didn't recognize. Oh, yes. Uh, and then what was, what was the location again? Uh, Kabart Dominican Republic. Well, I don't know what we would have done for Dominican Republic. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, we did to intro. I really like you by Carly Rae Jepsen. Okay. We went out with a song called Dominican Fade by Battles. Okay, that's what that song was. That's what all right, that song was yeah. I, yeah. Sometimes you just forget about the songs and you listen to it and you go, "I don't, I don't have any idea what this was." And we used to listen to it all the time. Yeah, that's not that's off the one was. battles album that I like a lot. Uh, that one was from 2011. That I think that season of Are You the One? There is the shortest time period between oldest song and air date. 2011 was the oldest song that battle song, and it aired in 2017. Only six years. You know we like uh, a wide range of years, genres, whatever. I don't know. Up next, we got Survivor Game Changers in the Mama Nutha Islands in Fiji. What song? I'm gonna say. I want to say that we used the Fiji Mermaid again. We did use Fiji Mermaid again. What about what about the Um, theme though? What was of changing the game? Yeah, what did we... I, I, did we do Changes by David Bowie and uh, the... Uh, I don't remember who it was, but from the Shrek soundtrack, the other person that, that did the duet with him? <laughs> Absolutely, we did. Because, yeah, we could just do Changes by David Bowie, but why would we do that when there's that's a... Not, that's <laughs> not the one off the Shrek soundtrack. It's not off the Shrek soundtrack, so why would we even bother? You know what? Going forward, we should only use songs from the Shrek soundtrack. Exactly. Until we exhaust them. Uh, the listeners. Up next, we did The Challenge, Champs versus Pros. It was shot in Los Angeles, California. Did we do Heart of a Champion by Nelly for you this? You know we did. You know we Absolutely did. Absolutely we did. And then what was the look? It was in California, you said? It was in California. Okay, did we use uh, California by uh, Phantom Planet as you the song? You know we did, yes. Absolutely. Perfect. What a great combo. I feel like the songs we pick for the challenge are oh, is a, always a better combo than the ones we pick for Survivor. It's true. Well, they're in location. They're in different locations. Like, I yeah. feel like we're always stuck in, like, Fiji. one or two. Yeah. yeah. Are you the one second chances? You already guessed one of these. This was in Melbourne, uh, Australia. Do it again. Do, do it, it again. Yeah, this, was, this was Do It Again by Steely Dan. Yeah. Are you the one? Second chances. You liked it so much the first time we did again. We also like to call it 802. Uh, this was shot in Melbourne, Australia. What song could we have used for an Australian show, Thomas? Did we use Down Under by Men at Work? Of course we did. Of course. Because sometimes, sometimes it's fun to pick the most obvious thing. But not every time. That's how we do things here on Did not every time. Survivor last night. Thomas, the next song we did... The next show we covered was Survivor Triple H, It's Time to Play the Game. Okay, so yes, we did did Triple H's Time to Play the Game, Triple H's theme. Mm -hmm. The Game by Motorhead, yes. Yes, The Game. What was the outro? Where was was this season shot? Every Survivor season from here on out is from in Fiji. If you do the Fiji Mermaid again? Mm Mm-mm. No, we got tired of using that song. So yeah. remember, Thomas, uh, Survivor takes place on a beach. What's, what is there on beaches? 
Sand? Mm-hmm. Do we use Sandstorm? <laughs> <laughs> no. By Darude? <laughs> no, this was uh, the 35th season or so of Survivor. So you might think, oh, wow, the show's really evolved throughout the years, huh? And that, now we're on to Survivor. Oh, oh, we, oh, we used the line. We used the line in the sand by by Motorhead. <laughs> yep. I forgot that we did two different Triple H themes. Man, <laughs> line in the sand, great outro song. Yeah, it was, it was. That was a good season for that and only that. I honestly think that was one of those ones where it would be like if I was if I if I bothered to listen to our our show, I would be like, oh, I'm gonna stick through the ending here. I'm gonna listen to the whole thing. Yeah. I always like picking a good song and then uh, just listening to that at the end. Uh, the Challenge Vendettas we did one episode of, and then you said, I don't want to watch this show anymore. It's bad. Yeah, I remember <laughs> hating it. Uh, this was shot in a few different places, Gibraltar, Spain, and Prague. So um, Vendettas is the season theme. Gibraltar is one of the locations. Do you remember either of these songs from one no. episode we did th- no, over three I don't. years ago? <laughs> one is a Franz Ferdinand song. It's, it's bullet. It's bullet by Franz Ferdinand. I don't. Okay. It's one of the less popular Franz Ferdinand songs. The other is Gibraltar by Beirut. Did you know that song existed? Vaguely. <laughs> uh, we also occasionally will. Just take a break, you know, from regular from regular programming and just simulate our own season. So what songs do we use when we simulate our own seasons, Thomas? Oh, man, I should remember this. Um... We've used two different songs, I think, the three or four times we've done this. I don't remember. Well, we've uh, used both... Music from The Sims, just, you know, background okay. music from The Sims. Perfect. And also, Run Away With Me by Carly Rae Jepsen, but the Simlish version. Oh, the Simlish version of Run Away With Me. I do remember us doing that. <laughs> Which, unfortunately... What a fucking weird... What a weird thing that exists. I'm so pleased. I wish that... Uh, you know how they do, like, that... A lot, they have a lot of different pop singers come in and do that for the popular songs they have. I wish you could click on a radio and be like play this version of this song. I would love to hear... I would love my... Do you have the Simlish version of this? Yeah, why not? Like, I, I, how hard can it be to upload an MP3 to that game? Here's a here's an idea. Okay. Billy Simlish. Yeah, that's really good. Thomas, uh, we also took a break to watch a movie called The Condemned. Do you remember this? I do remember watching that and being very disappointed in it. Um, did we use Stone Cold's theme as one of the uh, glass glass shatters? I believe is what it's called. Uh, when I looked it up, it, they told me it was called "I Won't Do What You Tell Me." I think that's the disturbed version of it, which is much worse. Uh, okay, uh, but yeah, it's. Stone but it would be. It would also be funnier if we used the disturbed version of it. <laughs> Because the Disturbed version is basically the same guitar riff, but then, like, halfway through when you're, like, Stone Cold Steam's playing, I love it, you just, you're like, Step off! <laughs> like, it's really bad. I love it. Um, the song we went out with is much different. Remember, The Condemned is a movie all about a bunch of people on an island. It's a song about an island or island. Do we do Island in the Sun? No. By Weezer? No, so you got 75% of the title, though. Did we do Islands in the Stream? Mm Mm-hmm, by? By uh, Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers? You got it. Now, Thomas, (laughs) we also, you know, to kill time before the next season of Survivor, we did try Total Drama Island. Yes, we did do that. What song? uh, We we used Islands in the Stream again, because Island, right? Uh, but what song did we use for the total drama part of this title? Did we do, um, did we do Total Entertainment Forever by, uh, Father John Misty? That would have been a great idea. People love Father John Misty. No, we used Top of the World by CFO Dollar Sign, also known as the theme for Total Divas, the WWE <laughs> show. <laughs> The WWE oh, show, much better, I don't think either of us have ever watched. 
No, I've never seen an episode of that show. Uh, literally, I think the only thing from that show I've seen is that clip of John Cena telling Nikki Bella how many suits he bought, which honestly is very yes. funny. Yeah. No, that's uh, if that's the only if you only see one clip of Total Divas, that's the one to watch for sure. Up next, we got Survivor Ghost Island, and I'll tell you, you already picked one of the songs for when it was Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers. Actually, was it Island in the Sun? It was Island in the Sun. Weezer. I remember us doing that. Yeah, but what was the song we went in with? Ghost. What was the ghost? What was the ghost part of it? And I'll I'll give you a hint. Doubles up on the ghost references in the song and artist's name okay so it's probably not ghost with a boner by diarrhea planet then <laughs> you'd be right to it's not that. you're telling me it's not ghost with a boner um, so you're telling me it's not then it's probably not go is it ghosts and stuff by dead mouse no it's my boo by ghost town oh UK's. my boo yes this is when that was a the dance for that was a big thing Oh, I don't remember that. Uh, I don't know what that, popular dances People were are. doing a lot. Of, people were doing, like, videos of them dancing. There was, like, a specific dance to do to the song. It was good. It was It was both the dance was funny and the, uh, the song is good. I love a funny dance. Do you remember the Harlem Shake? Uh, th- this was much funnier than that, but yes. Okay. I don't think there's a dance funnier than the Harlem Shake, but okay. Maybe the chicken dance. I, that's a pretty funny dance. Line dancing is funny every time. In 2018, in the summer, we watched Survivor Borneo, which you might recall is the first season of Survivor. First time anybody went out on Survivor. What song did we use? Uh, it was Jeff Probst's first time on the island. It was Richard Hatch's first time on the island. It was Sue Hawk's first time on the island. What's the song did we called? Use, did we use First Time by Carly Rae Jepsen? Hey, how'd you get it? What song did we use for Born, EO? Did we use Born in the USA? <laughs> no, but you're close. Born to Run? We can use Born to Run. <laughs> by Bruce Springsteen. Pretty good. Uh, up next, we got Survivor, David versus Goliath. I think... Probably my favorite matchup of any songs we've done at all. I should watch TV. Da- da- Whoops, that's the answer. David, David versus Goliath. David versus Goliath is the name of the season. Did we use Goliath by the Mars Volta? We used the LP remix to Goliath by the Mars Volta. Yes. But do you remember the outro song? Or did you hear me accidentally say it out loud 30 seconds ago? No, I don't think I did. Um, where did this, was it for the location? Um, actually, it is based on the theme, um... So it's like, is it David thing, then? It works on multiple levels. There's a David in it, uh, and also the album name is related to the theme of the season as well. I think pretty good hint. Pretty good hint. Who's a David... That we listen to musically, who also was it, was it a David Bowie song? It was not a David Bowie song, but you're on a pretty pretty right track with a David B from the 1980s. I don't know how I'm, many I'm David B's blank. do you know that we listen to regularly with music? <laughs> David Boreanaz. Yeah, David Boreanaz made a song. <laughs> David Boreanaz from Buffy. <laughs> yeah, you got and bones. <laughs> This song called Bones. I don't know. That's like David Bore. More like David Bonesianis. Yeah, that's right. Um, I don't remember. Um, okay, here's another hint then, Thomas. I really want you to get this one. Uh, Survivor's a TV show. You've seen you've seen these people perform. <laughs> <laughs> You've probably seen them perform this song. Oh, was it, uh, was it, uh, oh, I, I remember what it was. It's, um, uh, da- it's, uh, David Byrne and St. Vincent. Um, was it Who? Because Love oh This God. Giant is the, uh, Love This Giant is the album. <laughs> You're so close. 
It wasn't who? <laughs> no, but it's from that album. Remember, it's a okay. TV show. Uh, I don't remember what the song is. It's called I Should Watch TV. Okay, I should watch TV, all right. You should know that because I did say it out loud and then... The only the only song that I remember off of that album is Who. It's a great album. One of my favorite St. Vincent albums. Uh, Thomas, remember the movie that we watched? Again, we had to take a break from Survivor. We just watched two whole seasons of Survivor. You're not going to give us a break? Fire, the greatest party that never happened. What songs did we use? They're both very good. Okay. So, so where was the fire, what, like, what was the name of the island that the fire festival was on? Exuma, the Bahamas. Okay. It was Bahamas, okay. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, though. Did we do, uh, did we do, uh, that Sean Kingston fire song? What's the song called? Is it Fire Shorty Burning on the Dance Floor or whatever? <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. Um, but who, yes, that's the song we went in fire, with. It was called, fi- it's called Fire Burning, It's called Fire right? Burning, yes. Who was the spo- the celebrity spokesperson for the fire festival, though, Thomas? Oh, it was Ja Rule. Yeah. So did we do the Ja Rule and Ashanti song? What's the name of it? Oh, what which what is the name of it? <laughs> uh, is it is it? Uh, mm? Oh boy, what is it called? Uh, it's mesmerized. Mesmerize, mesmerize right? yeah. Uh, okay. The the one where he does the weird singing that he does. Uh, does weird Ja Rule weird singing? Just like this super gravelly voice, like your lips, your smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we have that recorded. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do for the challenge War of the Worlds? It's only one song, and uh, it's the song that we used for the challenge chunk. When it was only its own segment. Um, it's unrelated to the season or the location. It has more to do with the. Name oh, is of the it? Uh, okay, is it? Um, was it money for nothing? Digging for something is actually the name of the song by Super. Oh, by Chunk. Super Chunk. Yeah. The. Challenge Chunk, why don't we do a Super Chunk song? That makes sense. Uh, Then we had Survivor Edge of Extinction. Pretty good. That was... uh, songs. Did we do uh, Edge of Glory by uh, Lady Gaga for that? No, you're always trying to do uh, Edge of Glory by Lady (laughs) Gaga. We will never do Edge of Glory by Lady (laughs) Gaga. You can put that in the books. We will never be playing that song. It, I'm on the edge of extinction, and I'm hanging on a moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's another really, really famous Edge song? Was it Edge's theme? Was it Metalingus by, uh, by Alter Bridge? What's a third very famous song about edging? <laughs> um, it's not a U2 song, but that would have been a really good choice, too. Boy, I don't remember. Edge of <laughs> Glory by Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> is it uh is it uh Oh shit, is it the Stevie Nicks song? Yeah. Edge of Edge of Seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how long that took. I thought I felt like that was like one of our most obvious choices. Um Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, what was the song we went out with? More modern. More modern. It had only been out for about a year by the time we scooped it was up. Was it uh, related to Extinction or was yes. it related to the... Okay. Had to get the whole title of the season in there between two okay. songs. Boy. This is a song you picked out, if that helps. I think I picked Edge of Seventeen and you picked... Exti- uh, you picked... Well, the the song is called Extinction, but you already got that. But who was the artist? I don't remember who the artist is. Parquet Courts. Oh, yeah, you're right. That song, yeah. I forget, I don't know why I forget about that song either, because that's like, I like that album a lot. There was somebody on Edge of Extinction called Ron Clark, and we loved Ron Clark here. You can go back and listen to any of our episodes. We wanted to hear the whole Ron Clark story. (laughs) Wanted to hear the whole Ron Clark story. Yeah. 
So we watched the Ron Clark story, the movie with Matthew Perry. What song did we go in with? It should be very easy. Was it, was it the Friends theme? <laughs> no, remember, Ron Clark was from Edge of Extinction. What song did we go in with? Was it Edge of Glory by uh, Lady Gaga? <laughs> oh, you mean the one produced by Niles Rogers? <laughs> was it, did we just do Edge of Seventeen yeah. again? But the real question is, what song did we go out with? From the Ron was it related to was it related to Ron Clark? Yes, it was. In fact, he wrote it. Oh, it's him doing the rap. Oh no! <laughs> I had forgotten about that. It's him doing the rap about the president. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, I think overall, um, one of the worst movies we've watched on this show. And not we've, good. We've watched a lot of bad movies. In fact, not a good movie. Every Christmas season. Uh, for the past three or four years, we've taken a break from our regular programming to bring you a special holiday called Christmas. Thomas, what songs have we used for Christmas? I have to imagine that we used I Came to Play by Downstate. Mm -hmm. Because that is his wrestling theme song. Yes. What, <laughs> what songs have we gone out with there? I'll give you a hint. We've used two different songs in the three times we've done Christmas. One of them is by an artist, artists that we've already discussed. Uh, and the other one is a, an obvious Christmas song, but we made like a less obvious version of it. Did we do Last Christmas by Carly Rae Jepsen for one of them? Fuck. No, we should have. That's what we'll do this year, though. Sure. We love Carly Rae here on this show. Yeah, if that wasn't obvious enough. Um, I don't think you're, honestly, I don't think you'll get either of these. Uh, Probably not. But it was A Christmas to Remember by Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> then also All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. But sure. the Space Jam remix. <laughs> oh, yes. Even better. Okay. And after that, we went full force into Survivor, four seasons of Survivor in a row, in a miniseries called The Year of Sandra, hashtag Yaz Queen. What did we do for her first season, Pearl Islands? Uh, I know that we did Sandra's Rose by Drake for this one. Mm -hmm. And what did we get? And out then of? I believe I believe Pearl of the Quarter by Steely Dan, our 100%. second Steely Dan outro. Yes, we love Steely Dan here on this show. This might be my favorite combo that we've had. Really? Yes, okay. I like this one a lot. Okay, I like the intro to that Drake song. That was I remember I had to like bully you into picking it because I liked it so much. Well, Thomas, here's the thing with that song. Uh, that song does start with somebody yelling the N word, and I felt weird about us being two white yeah. guys having the show start with that. Hey, you know, <laughs> popular it's popular artist. Sure, it's Drake. Yep, yep. Uh, up next, we got Survivor Island of the Islands, in which. Sandra was a mentor. What song did we pick for Island of the Islands? Also called Island of the Idols. If you've started listening to the show since we called it Island of the yeah. Islands, that might not make sense. So songs about idols? When, when are you thinking? Uh, a song about an idol? Interesting. Oh, Kelly Clarkson. Since you've been gone, oh. <laughs> what are we gonna? What are we gonna get? Uh, uh, if I was invisible by Clay Aiken, <laughs> a Taylor Hicks song. Get out of here. Oh, Taylor Hicks. Soul Train. Um, Soul Patrol. What was his thing? Did we do? Did we do a Billy Idol song? Did we do like Rebel Yell by Billy Idol? No, we didn't. I don't. I don't think we've used a Billy Idol song, which is weird because I no. I really like. It's that. a real shame. No, Idol is in the song title. I'll give you another hint. It could be, we could also use this song for a popular season of the challenge called Rivals, or Rivals 2, or Rivals 3, even. Oh, is it uh, the song Idols Become Rivals mm -hmm. by Rick Ross? Indeed it was. But what song did we go out with? It's a much different song. That, that would have been Islands. Well, we already used Island in the Sun. We already so used Island that. in the Sun. Remember, this is the did year of use, Sandra. Do we use Island by Mastodon? Do we have a metal outro? Nope. Again, this is the year of Sandra. 
Oh, it's a Sandra. Did we use a... Uh... Oh, boy. I don't remember what we used other than Sandra's Rose for that. Uh, it was called Sandra parentheses When the Earth Dies by White, White Fence is what they're called. Boy, would I have never guessed that. Yeah. Uh, then we got the best season of all time, Heroes versus Villains. Thomas, what songs okay. did we use here? We definitely used uh, I'm Your Villain by Franz Ferdinand, mm -hmm. the second Franz Ferdinand song that we've used. And I believe we used uh, Heroes by David Bowie. No, sir. Try again. We didn't use Heroes by David Bowie. Well. Well. Do we use... He oh, oh, you're right. We Did we do the, uh, the uh, Wallflowers version of Heroes? Of course we did. We can't be too yep. obvious. Yeah, we have to use the the funnier ver the funnier version of that song. <laughs> then we got into Survivor Winners at War. What songs did we use here? Uh You already guessed one of these. You actually already guessed both of these artists. One of them correctly, one of them incorrectly. Okay, winner. What's what's the song with win? Do we do we do and the winner is uh Rock Boys by Jay-Z? No. No, sir, we did not. Um, completely wrong genre. Oh, you know what would have been a good song to use? Everyone's a Winner by Hot Chocolate. Classic song. Sure. Unfortunately, it's not it. Oh, was this the one that we used, The Winner Takes It All by ABBA? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, okay. What song did we go in with? Again, it's another cover because we're cool and we like covers here. Was it a cover of War, the song War? No different war related song okay by a band from high school that we liked a lot in high school okay because my other guess was going to be that it was a cover it was maybe the smash mouth cover of why can't we be friends by war <laughs> <laughs> no, no 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 that's not it this is a band that we liked in high school mm -hmm. i don't know how much you listen to them these days but i don't listen to them as much as we did in high school. Was this a flame was this a flaming lips song? Was a cover of a flaming lips song? Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. Sorry, the person who does the cover is a is somebody we the the band that we like is that does the cover is the okay. band we liked in high school. I don't remember. You're gonna have to tell me. Uh it was Cake's cover of War Pigs. War Pigs! Ah, you're right. Yeah. Then we got si our second our second cake song. Yes. Uh we got San Juan Del Survivor after that. What songs did we use there? Remember, it was San Juan del San Sur Juan. in Nicaragua. I believe we used uh, Big Sur by uh, The Thrills. Correct. For that. This is a blood versus water season, so what song did And then we uh, the outro was uh, was Give Blood by, uh, by uh, Pete Townsend. Correct. And then we got... That's another one of my favorite combos. Yeah, me too. Uh, but... Can it compete with what we used for Kid Nation? Oh boy, uh, Kids in America. <laughs> Which one? Uh, it's the the one uh, by. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> oh boy, what's the name of it? It's uh, the Muffs. Yes. It's the punk band yes. the Muffs. But um, what did we go out with though? Uh. Oh, uh, that was uh, of course we are we are the the. Uh, the Youth of the Kid Nation. My my remix of uh, Youth of the Nation by P.O.D. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh, and then finally, we just finished up the Challenge Double Agents, which was shot in Reykjavik, Iceland. What songs did we use here? And again, going back uh, to the classic way of doing it. One song for the theme, one song for the location. So it was uh, Double Agents... Was the season, yeah. Yeah. I remember that I had... It's funny because this is the most recent season. <laughs> and I don't remember... I remember what the outro song sounded like, but I don't remember who it was by because it was a song I wasn't familiar with before this. Okay. Uh, it, and I... Do you want me to tell you or do you want to just guess? Yeah, you can, you can just tell me. Uh, it was Double Trouble by Otis Rush. And also, yes. the oldest song we've ever used on this show, 1959. 
Yes, it was an older song. And then we did um, uh, Hoppy Pull Up by Cigarettes. Yeah, because... the the... Uh, the intro because because uh, because of iceland because of iceland it was either that or bjork those were our two choices yeah um and i guess now now is the time to announce our next season we're gonna be talking the time is now to announce <laughs> our next season we're gonna be covering it again no, and we're gonna we make american make a again um nope. and uh we're gonna be uh the time is now by john cena is gonna be the theme the intro and outro uh, no, we're actually not doing that. We're doing, it's a season called Survivor Apple No! Just kidding. Uh, it's... <laughs> we are untouchable, but we're forcing you to feel us. <laughs> uh, kidding, of course. You can't see us. This is an audio medium. So we are going to be discussing Survivor Marquesas. What songs are we using for Survivor Marquesas, Thomas? We've already discussed it. And I'm trying to see if you remember a conversation we had about two weeks ago. <laughs> if I remember what we actually decided to do. This is, again, the fourth season of Survivor. There is no okay. theme other than it's in Marquesas. I genuinely do not remember what we picked. <laughs> okay. So we will be going in with Fortunate Son by Credence Clearwater Revival. For, yeah, uh, yes, Fortunate Son. Because <laughs> it's the fourth season. And we will be going out with Southern Cross by Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Yes, okay. <laughs> so let's start next week. Um, Thomas, who have we... Oh, and the, re oh, the reason that we're going out with that was... Uh... Because they mentioned Marquesas oh, in the lyrics. Yeah, because they mentioned Marquesas in the lyrics. I know that there was a minute there where we looked at uh, former uh, MLB player Nick Marquesas' walk-up music to see if there was something we wanted to use, but it was like a Bubba Spark song, and I didn't yeah. I didn't care to use that. Um, yeah. What artist did we use the most, Thomas, throughout the first three? Probably Carly Rae Jepsen. <laughs> yes, we have used three separate Carly Rae Jepsen songs. Uh, and then there are five artists that we've used twice. Do you, do you know? Can you uh, rattle those we off? Used, we used Kate twice. We used Steely Dan twice. Um, I mean, do, I, does it count that we used Me Without You twice because we used the Fiji Mermaid oh, twice? no, I think that's just one one. Same, time, yeah. same with Dead Kennedys, yeah. yeah. Um, who else did we use twice? David Bowie. No, We've not used David, David Bowie, Bowie zero because, times actually. <laughs> that's well. David Bowie was on the the duet You're of right. the Shrek version. You're right. He was. He was. So we used him once. Yes. Uh, boy, who else did we? Use? So there are three other artists that we've used twice. Mm -hmm. Not including Carly Rae Jepsen or the two I mentioned. Right, and one of the artists is actually two people duetting. Oh, uh, Dolly Parton and uh, Kenny Rogers. Yep, going through the all of our old episodes. Like, how did we pick two different Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers songs? But okay, crazy. One more that you haven't gotten yet is uh, another band we liked a lot in high school. I feel like we probably don't listen. To uh, Franz Ferdinand. Yep. And the other one is both the intro and the outro was the same band for one was, season. Was that John Cena? <laughs> <laughs> it was not John Cena, but you're close. Uh, was it? Uh, oh, that that was a uh, Motorhead. That was Motorhead. It was, the, yeah, was the, say, the, the Triple H one. It was yeah. uh, John Cena's opponent at you know, WrestleMania or something. Who gives a shit? Thomas, did you watch the Challenge All Stars last night? Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Jake, you know I didn't. Um, I did. Uh, they they're not doing the lifesaver anymore. Um. So that's something, and then it was, so a couple people went up against each other, uh, and Anissa was one of them, and uh, I didn't I didn't actually take notes on watching it, and I asked my girlfriend, hey, did we watch the Challenge All-Stars yet this week? And she said, yeah, remember this happened? And I said, oh, okay. Um, so Cyrus and Beth were paired in the elimination, because now every elimination is a double elimination, and they went up against Anissa and somebody else. At, oh, Alton, and uh, they won. Yeah, and they they won. 
they beat Beth and Cyrus in the elimination. So that's the Challenge All Stars. Really good show. You can catch it on Paramount Plus every Thursday. Uh, Thomas, what's your Twitter? Uh, you can follow me at Tom. Not Tom. Uh, I was talking about the NFL draft for a while there. No longer talking about the NFL draft. It's done. It's over. You can follow us on Twitter, the show at dywsln, or on Instagram at the Only Survivor Podcast. Thomas, are you so excited to get back to Survivor? I feel like it's been so long. Yeah, it's been a long time, and I'm very excited to be back. Feels good. Guess who's back? Back again. It's Jeff Probst. Back again. <laughs> tell tell a friend. Tell a friend. That's what it is. Uh, can you give us the boilerplate review for iTunes? Uh, yes. Uh, this is my favorite podcast. I like it better than all the other podcasts. I give it a big thumbs up. That's And uh, cool. five stars, please. Five stars only. Thank you to everybody who has given us a review. If you want to give us a review... Uh, and request we unbleep somebody's name. Feel free to do that. Uh, that's what we're offering now. We also have a Patreon show called Just Joey. It only costs ten thousand dollars a month to subscribe to that. Uh, other than yeah. that, on- I only I know that I did this the other week, but I only thank the fans on the Patreon episode <laughs> about about Joey. Yeah, absolutely. So if you want, if you're if you're looking for thanks, that's where to find it. All right. Until uh, until you hear us on Just Joey, have a great quarantine. Deuces. I got a cute face, chubby waist, thick legs in shape, rump shaking both ways, make you do a double take. Planet rock a show stopper, flow pop a head knock a beat scholar, tail dropper, do my thing, motherfucker. My Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, Blue Medina, always beaming, rag top, chrome pipes, blue lights, out of sight. Long wig, so thin, sad again, so thin, make that money, throw it in. Everybody here